Welcome to our video about Ghani Khan, one of the most prominent Pashto poets of the 20th century. Today, we're going to be exploring his life and work, and what makes him such an important figure in Pashtun culture. Ghani Khan was born in 1914 in Hashnagar, a small village in the Peshawar Valley of present-day Pakistan. He was the son of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, a political and spiritual leader who was known as the Frontier Gandhi for his nonviolent activism. Despite growing up in a political family, Ghani Khan became a poet and artist, focusing on themes of love, nature, and the human condition. He wrote primarily in Pashto, but also in English and Urdu. His poetry was known for its simplicity, sincerity, and emotional depth. One of Ghani Khan's most famous works is his poetry collection, Da Ghani Kaliat, the complete works of Ghani, which contains over 1,000 poems. Many of his poems were set to music and became popular folk songs in the Pashtun region. In addition to his poetry, Ghani Khan was also an accomplished artist, creating paintings, sketches, and calligraphy. His artwork often reflected his love of nature in the Pashtun way of life. Ghani Khan was also a political activist, following in his father's footsteps. He was imprisoned multiple times for his views, including his opposition to the British rule of India and his support for Pashtun independence. Despite this, he remained committed to nonviolent resistance and was widely respected for his integrity and moral courage. In conclusion, Ghani Khan was a multifaceted figure who made significant contributions to Pashto poetry, art, and politics. His legacy continues to inspire Pashtuns around the world, and his work remains an important part of Pashtun cultural heritage. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed learning about Ghani Khan.